Where's he going? Oh, hey. Hello, children. Today we'll be tricking our trip to Thailand. Care to join? Good day to you, good folk. Today I'm going to be talking about Thailand. Let's start off with some basic information that you should know about the country we have been visiting. The population is uh, 65,000... 65,000,000! 444,371. That's a lot of people. The ethnic race, 75% of Thai. That's a good thing. And we also got 14% Chinese and 11% other. <laughs> Languages, they speak Thai, Siamese. English, the secondary language of the elite. And, and regional dialects. Religions consist mostly of Buddhist, which covers 95% of the population. Uh, Islam, 3.8%. Christian, half a percent. Hindu, 0.1%. Other, 0.6%. Now let's go around and explore. We're going to talk to some people, including the infamous Miss... 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 Miss Tiffany... Miss Tiffany Universe herself. Blimey! Jehovah's Witnesses! That's such a rowdy in this country! Hello, here we are at Miss Tiffany Universe's home. Hello, Tiffany. Hello. Hi. What, uh, high five! Huh? Whoa! What is, what is that? That's a Thai green. Wow. Mm -hmm. Is that? Oh, is that the Y? Yes. Oh, that's that nice. It is. Very intriguing. Let's have a seat and talk. Tell me, tell me something about the what? women, for instance. <laughs> what is the roles of the women in Thailand? Wow. In Thai history, they were Good. treated Good. Look at the camera, but, very so you can see a beautiful <laughs> face. Uh, in Thai history, they were treated very well, and they were very business savvy, and they had dominated their husbands over financial matters in the home. In the 14th century, husbands practiced polygamy. Oh, I've had such a shame. No true love to one wife. It's such a difficult situation. Yes. And there's extreme legal oppression. Um, but right now, women represent 45.4% of the labor force in Thailand. Yes. Is there anything else you'd like to tell me? Mm. Well, divorces are very hard to obtain. Would you say that, is a divorce like a common interest between husband and wife? I mean, like, is there a lot of, is there a lot of disagreement going on? Or do you think that the couples are get to, for the most part in this country, get along pretty well. No, I think they want to actually have divorces, but there's problems with, like, the children support. So they don't usually get any divorces. That's a shame. Best of luck with the uh, polygamy situation. I hope you, I hope you, one of your, your husband is loyal to you and not to the others. Nice meeting you. Oh, forgot my horse. Me, get back! It's a prostitute! Let's check this out. Prostitution has become a common occurrence within the country. Oh my gosh, look at it. Maybe we should notify the police. Let's get on it. Now we're going to talk about a little bit of the education aspect of Thailand. The students are very highly educated, very literate. Oh look, here's a school right here. Hello children, starting to turn up your education. Can I ask you a couple questions? Sure. What grade are you boys in? Second. Second. And, and you are the teacher? Yeah. Nice to meet you. What's your name? Oh. Did you forget? <laughs> it's all right. It's nice to see you. Nice to see you too. So, are the children good students here? Yeah, for the most Would part. Would you consider yourself to have good supplies for school education? No, not really. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Maybe if we call the UN, you can get some funds. 
Like, oh, tell me about the education. There's a very high literacy rate of about 96% for men and women. That's marvelous. Thailand has 26 privately operated universities and colleges, and there are pre presently 42 universities and 36 teacher colleges. These universities offer a wide variety of courses at the bachelor's degree level in fields such as art, business administration, education, medicine, and many more. It's very nice. The adult literacy rate is about 97% for males and 94% for females. That's good. It's good to be in college. <laughs> yes, it is. Is there anything else you want to know? This is fun. I like a legitimate amount. Well, it was very nice meeting you. Nice meeting you, too. You have a good one. Now I'd like to talk to you and inform all you watchers, viewers, about communication. Something that we're doing right now, as a matter of fact. Thailand has 5.6 million telephones, 3.1 million cell phones, 15.96 million <laughs> radios. <laughs> That's so funny. I don't know why, but it is. 15.19 million televisions. Probably said that right. 1.2 internet users. Let me rephrase. It was 1.2 million. <laughs> anyway, there are five broadcasting stations in Bangkok. And 31, 131 repeaters, as well as 204 AM, 334 FM, and six wave radio stations. We happen to be broadcasting from Bangkok International, which is the station that's helped us out with this program. Speaking of which, we will now be going to a commercial, short commercial break. When we're back, we'll be talking about the devastating tsunami that once hit. Hi, <laughs> Welcome to Taiwan the Thai restaurant that will fulfill all of your Thai needs. With a variety of options, everyone can find a favorite dish here. From chicken, to beef, to vegetarian options, we have everything to offer. Decorated with authentic artifacts, Thai Wat offers a genuine Thailand experience. We hope you enjoy. Welcome back. We'd like to talk about the tsunami now. Thailand was hit by a tsunami on December 26, 2004, an earthquake that occurred in the Indian Ocean off the northwest coast of Indonesian islands caused the tsunami. The death account was approximately 8,000. That's devastating. The most damage occurred in Phuket and Khao Lak, both resort towns and slightly above sea level. The economic impact is considerable, although Thailand has a strong and flexible economy. I happen to be in Thailand on the, the date of the occurrence, uh, and we got it on video. Please roll the tape, Steve. Go! Oh! It's so windy! Wait a Oh my god! Oh! Oh! Go away! Ah! This concludes our tour of Thailand. In the next episode, we will be uh, visiting China. Thank you very much for watching. See you next week.